For three long months, the rains refused to return to the Namib. The desert is at its driest, and temperatures are unbearably hot. Creatures reduced to ghostly figures endlessly haunt the horizons for food. Those who have made it this far have proven their ability to endure great hardships. Soon, all their efforts will be rewarded. It's mid-November, and the long-awaited rains are due. Makey and her family are faring well. Her decision to move the group closer to water has seen them through the worst of the dry season. A pair of starlings takes it in turn to quench their thirst. Young Joe is preparing himself to muscle in on the action, but his nerves get the better of him. Taking a moment to compose himself, he sizes up the opposition. Finally, his courage pays off. Joe laps up his prize. Though meerkats can get all the moisture they need from their food, when pickings are slim, it's an advantage to find water. But water attracts all of the desert animals. The boys' usual games may have to wait. The jackal is back and lurking dangerously close. The last time she happened across the group, the brothers lost their sister, Lily. But today, the jackal has other concerns. A kilometer away, five hungry cubs call out. Her little ones are no more than four weeks old and still completely dependent on her for food. The mother should have a mate to help her provide for her young. But the desert claimed their father, leaving her to fend for her cubs alone. Abandoning her young for extended periods is not ideal, but she has little other option. She's hardly eaten in days, and her young will not survive much longer without food. At this time of year, there's one place she knows that offers rich pickings. Jackals may travel more than 30 kilometers between desert and coastal areas when resources in land are in short supply. Once a year, Cape fur seals gather here in their thousands for the birthing season. 24 distinct colonies line the shores of the Atlantic coast, each one with up to 100,000 seals. It's no coincidence the colony gathers here. These waters are particularly good feeding grounds. The cold Benguela current that flows from the Antarctic provides a steady stream of nutrients which supports vast shoals of fish. For those willing to brave the hostile colony, it's a unique window of opportunity. the jackal mother cautiously approaches. Cape seals are fiercely protective of their young. Risking her life, she throws down the gauntlet. She snatches a stillborn seal and leaves with the trophy she came for. Having traveled 15 kilometers to get to the coast, it'll take her the best part of the afternoon to return to her pups. But their long wait will soon be over. Though it may appear she's returned empty-handed, jackals feed their young regurgitated meat. This strategy safeguards the mother having her food stolen by others and the partly processed food helps the cubs digest the protein. 
they will all have full tummies tonight. <laughs>